What is going on everybody? William Fletcher here and in this video I'm going to show you how to take a boring checklist and turn it into an epic cheat sheet graphic. And you might be asking why would I want to do this? Well, the reason is guys is I've been able to use these type of cheat sheet and checklist graphics to create deliverables for online courses or to impress new coaching clients with a cool how-to or checklist style document. I've been able to use these to create lead magnets that I give away for free in order to get subscribers and all kinds of different cool stuff like that. I put these in courses that I've charged thousands of dollars for, had clients go through programs and coaching programs with me where they paid thousands of dollars to be a client of mine and I've been able to use these types of tools to show them that, hey, I'm the real deal, I'm professional, I have great content and great stuff, and it's way better to impress your clients and customers with really cool looking branded documents. So that is what we are gonna be building in this video. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first thing we gotta do, guys, is we gotta have some content for our checklist. Now. What I'm going to do in this video is because we just need some content, the, the content isn't exactly what I'm showing you how to do in this video, we're going to go on the web, we're going to find some content, and we're going to put it into a checklist, okay? Now guys, I'm not advising you to go do this, we're doing that just so we have some content for a checklist. And for this example, we are going to create a video optimization checklist. Now this could be a checklist on anything, but we're just going to Google video optimization checklist and just see what pops up here okay so we got some items here and some things here and again guys I'm not recommend that you go out and you copy someone else's stuff just going out here to get some ideas to throw some content together so I can show you how to build one of these cool looking checklists so this has got some good stuff in it so let's see what we got here. Cool, so we're just gonna get some ideas from this. So let's see what we got. And we will go back here just to get some ideas. So let's just start putting some things in here. So we're gonna do video basics. And guys, we'll see this come alive as we get deep into this and we really make this look cool. And we're gonna click this little icon right here, a new feature in Google Docs that allows you to add checkboxes, which are really cool because they're interactive checkboxes. And we're just gonna start putting in some content here. So optimize your video title to be click, let's do searchable and clickable. Let's see what else we got. Use your target keyword in the video description. Add your target as a tag for your video. And now, let's start dressing this thing up. So, first of all, what I like to do is always create a branded header. So we're gonna insert, and we are gonna go header. All right, so we got that in there. And we are going to use a logo. Now, in this example, in one of my recent videos, I created a logo for a creator type blog. So for this example, we will use that logo. And if you want to learn how to create a cool logo like this, be sure to check some of my videos on creating logos. But for now, we are going to do a few things here. So one, Let's see, let's leave this open and let's come back over here and let's get our dimensions here. So I'm 
want to do like I'm creating a screenshot here just so I can select this to see at roughly what size I want to make this header. And it's 820 by one. Let's make it 820 by 115 and see what that looks like. So we will come back to Canva. Let's open a new tab. Let's create a new design. And we will do custom size and we will do 820 by 115 and we'll hit create new design. Cool. So now that we have that open, I'm going to go back over here to our logo design and I grabbed that color. So I use this eyedropper tool to pick a color from this logo document. So I'm going to copy that right here. And let's do a background here and let's paste this color in. Okay, so we have that. Now I don't want to do the whole thing that exact color. So let's create a new element and let's do a shape. And we will do a rectangle here. Okay, and this color should be 191919 or 222. Actually, I like the 222. So this is just a black that I use a lot, which is this color code here. So let's do that. And then I'm gonna copy this and paste another copy of it because what I wanna do is rotate this and create a cool angle like that. But let's grab these and let's move these over Something like that. Okay, now let's go back over to our logo here and let's duplicate this. And so this is going to be page two. Okay, so we will download that particular page. So we'll click download here. And there we go, downloaded it as a PNG. Now we will go back over to here. We will upload this. So I'm gonna click that, hold shift, click that, and that, and command C for copy, come over here, and boom, paste those in. All selected at once. Let's make this a little bit bigger. We got our logo on the top of this header. Let's make it still a little bit bigger. And there we go. I like that. Looking good, looking good. And now let's use some text here. And let's see. Let's add a heading. And we're going to type video optimization. We're going to change that. See what it looks like in open sounds like that and make it a little bit smaller. Let's move this over like that. Let's add a subheading here and we're going to type checklist. Make that way bigger font. Going to go to the spacing, space those letters out and move this over here go and let's add it let's maybe add an icon here go to elements and search video icon let's do let's try this one let's change it to our pink color we got let's do something like this or let's select all this make it a little bit smaller like so this bigger like this there we go looking good looking good now let's select oops all these just get them centered I got moves so let's move that back down cool so now let's download this as let's see let's download this as a let's do JPEG download now let's go back 
to our Google Doc here. We're in the header. I'm going to insert image, upload from computer, go to my downloads folder, click video optimization, JPEG, Let's resize it here, resize it, get it how we want it, and then let's drag this up to the top, change this to fix position on page, and now we can drag it to the top. And boom, now we got a cool looking header and we're already looking a thousand times better. So now let's take this and let's do new graphic. So I'm gonna hold command and open a new tab by clicking on home here. And let's create a design. Let's do 300 by 75 and create a new design. And let's do text, add a heading, video research. Change that font size. Let's do search icon. We gotta search it under elements. Let's use this cool looking magnifying glass right here. This. Let's come over here to our logo and let's just try this color right here. See what this looks like. Remember, we got this color from the background of our logo gradient. So let's come back over here. Let's change this. That custom color to a font that matches what we got going on here. Let's just type in League, League Spartan, make that a little smaller, like so. I'm trying to decide if I want this icon as big as the text or if I want it bigger. I like it bigger, so I'm gonna undo. Let's see what this looks like. Let's try a little bit lighter text on this. I think it'll look better. All right, so now grid, so let me do, let's see if it let me do 0.75. Let's see what that looks like. It'll let me, I must not have taken that. Let's do 0.75. Hey, there we go. Transparent background and let's download. Okay, so it doesn't like that. So let's do the 0.5 and let's try that. See what that looks like. There we go. Now let's, come down a line here let's insert image upload from computer and video research I want it a little bigger than that so load do one let's do transparent background and let's download now let's come back to our document go insert image upload from computer boom there we go get rid of that line and i like that I wonder if we can make this look just a little bit better. Let's try something like this. We're gonna make this text white for a second. Background, like this. All right, so let's make this a little bit bigger so we can maximize the full box size here. And I'm actually gonna copy this and I'm gonna go file, Create new design, custom size, and we're gonna try 300 by 50. Create a new design. And we're gonna paste that in. Just gonna change our background back to the black color. And there we go. Let's resize this just a touch so it makes sure it fits. Now, let's download this and see what this looks like. So let's go to share, download, PNG. Here we go, let's go back to our document and let's go insert image, upload, and select that and put that in here. And let's shrink this down a little bit and let's roll with that. Now, and get rid of this, bring this all up. Here we 
we go. Now we got a pretty good looking little document here. Last piece I would do here, actually let's do a couple things real quick. Let's make this a little bigger. Back down one. Make this 13. This 13. And let's go back here. Let's make a cool footer image. So again, I'm going to take a screenshot here just to get a good size. Do 820 by 40. Go to Canva. Create a new design that's 820 by 40. Hit create new design. Let's grab purple color again. And make that the background for this footer. Here we go. And let's play around with this a little bit. I'm gonna try copying the logo. Just seeing what it looks like. It might be too big for this footer. But you don't know until you try. That's the beautiful thing about creating graphics. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. It might not look great when it gets small, but let's try that. And let's create some body text. And let's just put top. Let's do four more visit. Actually, I need to make this font way bigger. Let's make it bold. And let's do, actually, I like it all caps. For more, visit topcreatortutorials.com. And let's see. Let's share, download as a JPEG. And let's download it. Go back to our document. Go insert headers and footers, footer. And let's do insert image. Make this bigger here, like so. Do fixed position on page. And let's move this down to the very bottom. There we go. And look at that, guys. Let's view this in like a print view and see what it looks like. And change the printer to save as PDF. And look at that, guys. Now we got a nice, fancy looking cheat sheet or checklist, whatever you want to call it here. And we did all that in a little bit of time, but we really went the extra mile to make this thing look really good to impress your customers, impress your clients or just to make something really awesome for you. So when you go to use this checklist, it looks really good. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you like videos like this, make sure you subscribe because I'm putting out a ton of content helping you create really cool graphics and tools just like this. I'll see you in the next video.